Hello, welcome to lesson 57, Funk Delegate, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn one of the most important delegate that is Funk Delegate. Before understanding Funk Delegate, one has to have good knowledge on delegate. So I request you to refer my delegate video where I have explained completely what delegate is. So with, um, before starting Funk Delegate, let us understand what delegate is. So let us code uh, regarding uh, let us initialize some delegate and let us invoke methods using the delegate so what I'll do is I'll just create a delegate um, delegate keyword this is the way how to in, how to initialize a delegate and return type is integer and it's op delegate name is some operation okay and it takes two parameters int x comma int y Okay, my first job, first step is finished. I've initialized the delegates. Next step is I have to invoke, I have to, I have to write a method which will be invoked by this delegate. So the condition is uh, any methods that are going to be invoked by a delegate should match the signature of that delegate. So uh, let me create a methods which match the signature of the delegate. Public int, the method name is add. Okay, and it takes uh, two parameters int x, comma int y. Okay. Let me take some other variables int a comma int b. Okay. Now uh, it's going to return a plus b. Fine. This is the method which is going to be invoked by the delegate and it is matching the delegate signature. The return type is integer and it is taking two parameters. Now how do I invoke this method using the delegate object? First let me create a delegate object some operation the real object is so and it points to the method which is going to invoke okay okay the problem is I've not made this method static let me make it static first okay now let me go and invoke it like uh, add done okay now using the delegate object let me pass a values to it to that method I'll pass 10 comma 10 okay fine uh, let me print it and uh, let me call this method inside this console dot write line such that it will do the operation and it will print 20 on the console screen okay and this works fine and it prints 20 okay the problem here with the with this delegate initialization is every time we have to call the delegate and we have to tell the type and we have to pass the parameters okay that's that that is the problem with the delegate but um, coming back to presentation here you can observe what the func delegate is in the c version 3 it includes a built-in generic delegate types func and action so that you don't need to create or define a custom delegates in the sense here what we are doing is we are explicitly telling the delegate and the type okay unnecessarily we are creating the delegate and the delegate we are in the delegate we are specifying the delegate type and the parameters but instead of that let us make use of this uh, a generic delegate types func to do that work okay let us understand what what is func delegate func is a generic delegate included in the system namespace and uh, let us understand these two sentences very carefully it has zero or more input parameters and one output parameter the last parameter is considered as an output parameter okay let us understand this for example, a func delegate that takes one input parameter and one output parameter is defined in the system namespace as below. For example, you can observe here, I am creating a delegate using this func. Okay, how do I do it? func delegate t result, that is the type, what is going to result, and it is taking two parameters. One is input parameter, one is output parameter, and this is how you will initialize a func delegate. Let us jump into the next slide where you can where we can learn clearly what func delegate is. You can observe here. This is how you will initialize a func delegate. The last parameter in the angular brackets here, this is the last parameter, is considered as the type. Okay, this what is this func delegate is going to return? That type is mentioned in this last parameter and the remaining parameter are considered as the input parameter. This in t this type specifies the type of the input parameter and this t result specifies the return type of that delegate func delegate okay this is what the func delegate is and how it works and you can observe func delegate with two input parameters and one output parameter for example as i said the last parameter in the func delegate represents the type of the return value for example this func is going to return the integer type okay then whatever the last parameter you are giving in the func delegate should be of the return type integer because 
this last parameter is going to represents the type of the func okay and the the rest of the parameters like uh, t1 and t2 is the type of the first input parameter and is the type of the second input parameter and that's what the func delegate is and how it works without wasting much time let us make this method here we are customized we are explicitly dele uh, defined a delegate and specify the type and pass the parameter instead of that let us make use of a generic delegate that is func how do i do it it's very simple let us get rid of this and what I have to do is it's very simple let me remove this also now I'm having a method now instead of uh, explicitly uh, creating a delegate then specifying the parameters and the type let us make use of the generic delegate that is func here we have to specify the type of the type of the what is the type of a method which are going to invoke here we are having the method which is returning the integer type and parameters also of int type so let me since it is of two parameters what i have to do is i have to take two integer types then what what is the what is the method which i am going to invoke returning it is returning the integer type so the last parameter specifies the return type of the func okay let me create some variable okay some operation okay so variable is object of that func some operation is equal to let me invoke that method add done now what I have to do is using the delegate object func delegate object now some operation I have to pass the I have to pass the values low so I'll pass 10 comma 10 okay this works fine let me pass to console dot right line such that it will print the output on the console screen Control console dot right line x and let me remove the semicolon and now when I run this program obviously it prints 20 okay this is what the advantage of func delegate for example let me uh, remove this integer type and let me make it as a double value you double and let me change all these things okay okay now what I have to do is I have to specify what is going to return double okay fine now when I run this control F I it prints 20 in the sense the first two parameters of is of the input is of the type of the input parameters okay this is this is the input parameters there are two parameters of integer type but the last parameter tells you what the func is going to return so this method is going to return the double when it is invoked by this func delegate so for the func delegate I have to specify the type called double okay this is how when I run this program obviously it will print 20 and that's what the func delegate is and it's very easy to use coming back let's recall once func is a generic delegate type included in the system dot namespace and they are the generic delegate type that's what the advantage of func delegate okay and that's what we learned here okay what are the advantages of func delegates easy and quick quick to define the delegates that's what we did here in the visual studio let me jump it's very easy to create a delegate and invoke the the method also that's what the major advantage of a func delegate and it makes the code short if i have used the custom delegate then it would have extended to around 30 lines of code but now it's of just 25 lines that's what it makes a code short and that's what about the func delegate is and <coughs> finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below and don't forget to give the feedback thank you